One of the most underrated things about Stardew Valley are the food. There are a whopping 80 recipes in this game. Most of them look nutrition delish, but some of them look kind of off. Here are five funky foods in Stardew Valley. The fish stew in Stardew Valley has all the makings of a classic and comforting dish. It's got plenty of seafood and crayfish, mussels, periwinkles, with a nice rich tomato based broth, but instead it looks like this. A sad looking bowl of grey matter. Why does it look like that? Like did they not cook the seafood? Or maybe the tomatoes were hella moldy. Why is it so grey? You know, they say if it's gray, it's healthy for you. No one has ever said that. Here we have a tie between two equally strange looking liquids, the algae soup and the pale broth. The algae soup has a color that kind of reminds me of that green vomit from The Exorcist. And the pale broth is described as a delicate broth with a hint of sulfur. So one looks funky and the other one sounds funky. So I had to give them a tie. Don't be fooled by the cute name and presentation. The Lucky Lunch is anything but. Sure, it sounds cool and it's shaped like a star. It's even described as a special little meal. But all of this is to hide the fact that this is made out of sea cucumbers, tortilla, and blue jazz flour. If there ever was a Stardew Valley cookbook, I doubt this one's gonna make it. So what do you do when a witch visits your farm and leaves behind an egg that looks like it came from the depths of hell? Simple, you hatch the egg into a shadow chicken and use its hellspawn egg to make evil mayonnaise, mix it with some sea snails and flour, and you have yourself a strange bun. Looks like a regular bun, but it looks like it has radioactive icing on top. If that's not scary enough, you can even offer it to something called the Dark Shrine of Night Terrors to bring monsters to your farm. If that's not funky, I don't know what is. Hands down, the weirdest looking food in this game is the sea foam pudding. You know it's a bad sign when food looks like it's glowing. The description says this briny pudding will really get you into the maritime mindset, but I don't know, a pudding made out of flounder and midnight carp is gonna be really tough to swallow. How do you combine a brown fish, a purple fish, and black squid ink and get a glowing green goop? How? This dish is so bad that it broke all the laws of science. So there you have it, those are the five most funky foods in Stardew Valley. Even though they may look or sound sketchy, I still think they're great, as these are some of the many things that make this game so charming and unique. Thanks for watching, happy gaming, happy eating.